Okay, guys, we're back on POV Pool for the hot seat match of the 25th annual Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament here at the Rum Runner Lounge in Las Vegas, 1801 East Tropicana Avenue. Your Packer Bar, that's right, the Green Bay Packers fans all converge here for, uh, for fun and action and for pool. We also want to thank Pool Sharks for uh, taking part in sponsoring the Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament. And we'd like to thank Kamui Tips, Chalk, Gloves, and the new travel case, and also multicolored multi chalk. That's right. Check out tigerproducts.com and the new X2 line of cues. And we also want to thank uh, Stefano Polinga for stopping in and uh, providing some commentary with us on POV Pool. It was uh, truly an honor to work with him uh, yesterday. Also want to thank uh, Amy Kane and the Vegas Billiard Buzz for your local pool news. POV Pool is powered by Automated Entertainment. Check out automated-entertainment.com and find out how your business can start making uh, money right away. Serving over 35 locations in Southern California and beyond. You can also thank Reanimac at reanimac.com for providing uh, technical support to POV Pool. Reanimate your Mac with Reanimac. And also they buy and sell used Macintosh computers. Contact Reanimac today to find out how much your Macintosh is worth. Also, we want to thank ne Neptune Pools. That's right, Ryan DeBerg for uh, providing support to POV Pool and allowing and making it possible for us to be here. We have two matches going on right now. Scott Frost versus Jason Klatt for the hot seat. And Joven Bustamante has just broken in a nine ball against Mike Massey. The score is already 1-0. Mike Massey and Joven Bustamante will be playing for guaranteed fourth place. Need I say more? This is Daniel Bush, you're joined here uh, in, in the booth with Stacy Alsup. Good morning or good afternoon. Good morning like, and afternoon. It like good morning. I it's it's morning here. and afternoon somewhere, that's for sure. It's also evening somewhere. We've seen some great performance by Mike Massey yeah. today. I was and surprised. Yeah, I'm really, uh, surprised you know, just I, I'm just impressed by his game. Very simple, very, uh, very... Uh, we were talking about the way that he... Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, we were talking about the what? The way that he shoots. Um, you know, very simple. He doesn't just kind of pokes the ball in. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, just, you know, very basic moves on the ball. And, and his combo skills are his combinations. spectacular. Yeah, combinations are real good. So Mike Massey now with the break, already down one game against uh, Joven. Really quick shout out to Amanda Pulley from Phoenix, Arizona and, uh, on the stream. And I want to remind you we also have Scott Frost and uh, Jason Klatt playing for the hot seat as well. That is our feature match. That is very exciting. Who do you like? Uh, I like Scott Frost only because he was my pick for the finals yeah. before this got even even got started. Yeah, we were just in Oregon and he played uh, very well there too. But anything's possible. Jason Klatt is, uh, you know, a real pro on these bar box tables. Yeah. Joven Bustamante just upset Shane Van Boning. Hill Hill and he made a nice out. So yes, he did. It's, um, I haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of Joven, but from what I've seen this weekend, he's a very strong shooter, and so is Shane. So. Yes, he is. Yeah, 
So, sorry guys, there's the break by uh, Jason Klatt. Race to six. This is a true double elimination event, by the way. see a, a jump shot here. I don't know if he can. He can't get around it. He's going to jump it. What a shot. So on the second table, Jovan Bustamante is up one nothing. Mike Massey just kicked safe. And now Jovan is at the table. And it wasn't safe. He fired him in the hole. Looks like a cakewalk from here, Stacy. The crowd is just, they just, they just, well, they just won't shut up. There's so many people here. <laughs> it's full, and it's always full. That's the great thing about this tournament. It brings a, brings a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. Jason just has to worry about getting uh, on the six from the five. And he will have won the first game in his match against Scott Frost. Mike Massey tries a one-handed jump shot and fouls. So Joven has ball in hand on the five. You're kidding me. We just missed that? <laughs> yeah, that was on the other camera. But it happened, just a second. I promise. <laughs> What's that? I said, but it happened, I promise. Yeah, but it happened. And he, uh, Jason made the five and missed the six. Well, a chance for Scott to take the first game. Yeah, and with ball in hand and five balls, Joven has made it 2 nothing against Mike Massey. Nice cut shot by Scott. Yeah. Scott, by the way, is working very hard this year and wants to play Moscone Cup. Yep. So uh, consider this his official application. <laughs> His, his official job application for the Moscone Cup team. <laughs> I think he would bring a lot of passion. What's that? He, he would bring a lot of passion. He's a very passionate player. Oh, he really is. But, you know, there's something about Scott that I really admire is he's a real perfectionist on the table. He's a preci precision player. Yeah. He takes a lot of uh, care to uh, find that exact spot on the table that he wants his cue ball to go. And I really like that about him. To, Joven uh, now... Breaking and up 2-0 on Mike Massey yeah. after, I guess, his 
Mike, yeah, after he, Mike's failed dart jump shot. Huh? One-handed. Yeah. Yeah. And he breaks, makes two balls, and has a pretty easy run out here to go up 3 nothing. Yeah, Jovan does. He seems to have found his break, uh, yeah. I think, on this table. One of the only, well, one of the few players, actually, Scott's break is very similar. You'll see this here. But one of the few players, Jovan is, to not employ the cut break. Yeah. You'll see that Scott is cut breaking a little bit. Yeah. But not as much as Shane ball, was. One ball and and the look cue where ball. the cue ball went. Yeah. He tied up the 2 4, though. I don't know if the 2 has a pocket. Doesn't look like it does. No, it looks like they're frozen. But uh, with ball in hand, you can make lots of things happen. You could stick them to the back of the four pretty easily. And on the other table, Joven is making quick work of uh, his massive break. Scott's looking at how he wants to hit the two ball. Looks like he's going to try to one rail kick it. That's what he was uh, was looking at. Safety battle now uh, because of that two ball that you were talking about earlier, Stacy. Yeah. And uh, Scott uh, is going to spin this ball around the rail. It's right into the perfect. two, almost in the corner pocket. That was anyone had shape on the three. That was a nice, nice attempt. Unfortunately, Jason is at the table. So Joven now three games to zero on Mike. Broken ran that one. And let's see if Jason can get out of this rack without an error. He made an error in the last rack, didn't he? Um, Mike, yes, yeah. No, Jason, Jason oh. Clatt. The last game? Yeah. Didn't he play a jump yes. shot on the two and then? No, it was farther toward the end of the rack. It was on the four or the five. <laughs> Multiple coverage. <laughs> I was looking at the other table, and he was at the table, and then he wasn't, and Scott was shooting the seven. So. Oh, wow. So Jason just misses that that five ball, that was a good opportunity for him. And uh, it looked like a makeable shot. Yeah. Let's quickly check out Mike Massey now. Wow, look at this 2-3 over here. Yeah. He played apparently a one ball carom off the two ball, but uh, didn't actually break out the two ball. Yeah. It made it worse, so safety battle now. And he froze him, froze him to the two ball. Scott Frost. Made the five, and now he's going to go up 2 nothing here. It'll be two, nothing. Safety battle, let's see how, uh, what do you think Joven will do? He'd probably just uh, try to hide close to Yeah, if he can get all the way down back behind the, the five and the four, that'd be ideal, but he might You think he'll Z-bank this? Like, oh no, he's just gonna. Yeah, he's gonna just leave him behind the eight. That's a good, That's shot. good shot. That's a good shot. I mean, he still has a a one rail, a two rail, or a three rail kick at it. He could three rail kick, push the two into the three, and then come back across behind the eight again. Jason Clapp. Dry break, it looks like. Yeah, and a makeable shot on the one for Scott. He 
and he that was very interesting that Mike would just give him ball in hand. But if yeah. you think about it, there's no three foul rule. Yeah. And uh, but but here you go. I think Joven's going to just he'll stick him behind the three now and play the the two ball three rails around. Yeah, I mean, even if he could make the two and the three, the four, the five, and the nine are all in weird weird places. So if I were him, I would try to figure out a way to play safe and break out that four nine. See what's happening here. Scott Frost is uh, well. He's uh, on the. He's gonna have to dig into this shot a little. Oh, that was nice. Very nice. That was nice. Couldn't have put the cue ball. Uh, that was like it was on a string. Two ball went in? I didn't think it was makeable. Yeah. Jacked up over a ball. Which one are we watching? Program. Stream? Yeah. Yes. Let's see if this combo works out for Scott Frost. Hit it perfect. She goes, and look, just like that, in less than 17 minutes, it's three to zero. Yeah. Yeah, and that one, uh, Jason made an error in missing the five, pretty much straight in to, mm. to win that game. So. And did he try to make the three, or did he? No, he played a safety. He tried to leave him yeah. long, and yeah, because uh, those balls down there were tied up or yeah. something. So, so now Mike has a a decision to make: how to play safe or where to make the ball. Scott Frost with the break. Makes a ball, but... Uh, Seven goes down. I think he might be able to see a piece of the one. I don't know if he has enough to make it, though. I think he can see the one, Stacy. I just think it's very long. And the three ball doesn't have a pocket. Here comes Jim to remove the rack. Boy, the pressure. You do one one thing and you can make a lot of players upset. <laughs> All right, so like Joven is not happy. Bad shot, I guess, he played. So Mike will step up. And... Uh, He'll have a chance to win his first game. Who do you like in this? In which match? Like the finals. Well, it's uh, it's too late to. to <laughs> <laughs> well. It's already three zero Scott, and it's already three zero Joven. I made a side bet. Uh oh, uh oh, Mike I Massey, ladies and gentlemen. You made, I made a side I made bet. A side bet. I have Jason, so I would like okay. for Jason to win, and an alternate break. Anything can happen. Still, yes. You know, but I've known Scott a long time. I traveled to Phoenix and play there, so I know him from from there, and he's a good guy, and I never root against him. So. Yeah. I'm torn. Split decision. Yeah, it's a tough one, you know, but. Uh, One thing's for sure, they're all champions. Oh, for the Shane one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Brown just stepped in. We've been using his photo of Shane Van Boning. Shane, M Mike Brown, uh, is it, what is it? Mike and I Brown? never got paid for it either. 
<laughs> we never get paid, but we get lots of credit. <laughs> <laughs> credit doesn't pay my bills. Yeah. Ooh, oh, wow. Scott. He tried to come. And that shot's not going to pay Scott's bills. No. Who's playing who? I just walked in. Oh, uh, we got uh, Jason Klatt and Scott Frost for the hot seat match. Scotty's beating Jason. Yeah. Jason yeah. This could yeah. be a chance if, if Scott doesn't uh, tie him up here. She doesn't know anything about this. I'm glad we're friends. I'd get clawed for that one. Maybe. I'll get the hell out of this. Jimmy. Sorry, Mike. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Scott's going to go airborne here. He's got his jump cue. Wow. Yeah, he has jump to be kick. Jump kick. Yeah, I was going to say the 5 9 is in the way. Hit it. And, oh, uh, look at this. Look at and this. And did, did well. He did very well. Broke up. Broke up that cluster. And I don't think he'll get ball in hand, but he's probably going to have another shot at the table. Yeah, Jason's hooked. And what's Mike doing here? Mike's, more, more, uh, Mike's riding the five ball. That was a great shot. Yeah, that was a good carom. That's the first carom I think I've seen him make. Uh, Bill Darty, Shane Van Boning is out in fifth, sixth. So he has now won five out of the last seven. Yeah. He had four in a row. So the four in a row streak is broken, but that's definitely a record. Mm hmm. And let's check out Jason's jump here. Wow. Oh! I spoke too soon. That I said he probably wouldn't uh, get ball in hand, and yeah, he did. Yeah, that almost hit me in the shoulder. <laughs> so Scott will come back with ball in hand and a 90% uh, chance of uh, taking game four here. Yeah. And... Mike has some work to do on the other table. He's hooked on the four, but there's only four balls on the table. There's the four, seven, eight, nine, and he's hooked by the eight on the four ball. Mm -hmm. So I think Scott's gonna get out here. I think that that rate goes up to maybe like 99% now. Yeah. What just happened? Well. That was a billiard Mike, shot. Mike was playing a billiard. It, Joven is going to have a chance to increase his lead to 4 nothing here. Wow. First time it's he's funny. seen a whole ball with a pocket in a well, while. Well, it's, it's funny to see a, a master like Mike Massey, you know, master trick shot artist, artistic billiard champion like Mike Massey, play... Uh, play shots that are sort of in his repertoire. Yeah. And they kind of look reminiscent of billiard, three cushion shots, or, or sometimes artistic billiard shots. Yeah. And he's actually using them in a, in a huge tournament like this. Oh, I would, I'd be doing that all the time. And on the other table, Joven caromed the 4-8 to go up 4 nothing over Mike Massey. Edgy is out. Yeah, yeah, we like Mike Massey uh, in this event this year. Jason Klatt breaks and uh, makes a ball, I believe. And uh, he he can see the one. Yeah, he can it see the makeable. one. It is makeable. He could he can cut it. He'll do that or, or play safe. Yeah, it's four zero Scott Frost on uh, and. Joven breaks and it's uh you know it's four zero on one side and four zero on the other side. Yeah, and Joven just made 
like three balls on the break, and he has a shot at the one, but I don't know if he can cut it in the side. Well, he has a look at the one. I just don't know yeah. if he can find a – he may be able to bank this cross corner. You always forget how different it is looking at it on a monitor. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Isn't it the funny, table, Seeing the lines and the balls, and we think – I, you know, I look at it and I'm like, no, there's no way that goes. Or there's no way you can see it. And you can see the whole ball and just rifles it in the hole. Well, Jason will come back to the table after uh, a kick from Scott Frost. Yeah. Made a good hit, but Jason can see the one. Oops, and I'm sorry, Joven guys. Tries Joven to tried to bank it, but missed. Mike tries to bank it and also misses. You know, a little back and forth in this rack, uh, Stacey, with Mike Massey and Joven. Yeah. And uh, Jason has Jason stopped the bleeding the, momentarily. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, stopped the bleeding. He gets on the wire, and it's four now to four one. to one. And it looks like Mike is going to try to jump the one carom into the nine ball. He's going to try a jump chase. This will be a nice shot for the highlights oh. nope he had he had the cue going toward the nine ball too he just oh, jumped right no. over oh no look at this though yeah oh that's an easy combination for joven yeah and i'd probably do the same thing and where the based four on where the four is, is yeah you, you're just gonna want to just roll this in yeah but it looks like he's not he's gonna go for the out are you seeing this Daniel, he's not going for the combo. He's uh, he's going for the one ball. I don't like that choice. Uh, yeah. But then that again, you know, maybe really he close. maybe that's just his ability. Maybe he yeah. doesn't like his ability on the uh, combos. Maybe he likes that combo better. better I mean, that's weird. I, yeah, that's what I was to thinking. To me, that's because really you're, weird. Yeah, ball in hand to get to a combo or ball in hand on a combo. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna choose ball in hand on the combo, especially when it's you know three inches from the hole. These young kids. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh. I'm just saying these kids these days they don't make oh. the right decisions. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said easy on the kids like I was No, 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 no. So he makes the 4 makes the 7 or makes the 7 first and the 4. Natural angle to get to the 8. matter whether he plays for in the side or in the corner. And Scott just going for a shot and missing it and leaving Jason an opportunity as Joven makes that nine to go up five to nothing over Mike Massey. You see some applause, but I think that a lot of the crowd is rooting for Mike. 
Well, that'll put Joven on the hill against uh, Tennessee Tarzan, Mike Massey. Five to zero for guaranteed fourth place here. And if you're looking for information about this tournament, uh, payouts, brackets, uh, who won, who lost, check out the Andy Mercer live news feed on povpool.com. Similar match happening over here between Scott and Jason, too. It's a four to one. Yep. And open Scott shot left for Jason Scott. Jason a shot at the two, and Jason missed it and left him a yeah. shot at it. And I think see. maybe there's uh, very little wind left in his sails. Yeah. But, you know, this is a winner's side match, so he's still going to have another shot at it. He can go outside, regroup, do whatever he needs to do to come back and yeah. still have a chance at winning. That's true. It is the hot seat match. But uh, I think, you know, he's probably going to want to maybe take a, take a break, a five-minute, you know, ten minutes, maybe 15. <laughs> and the, the loser of Give this match Give himself a chance to winner. regroup, you know. The loser of this will play the winner of Joven and Mike, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're down to the last four, folks. And Jason says, just take it. Five to one, Jason versus Scott. And the crowd was zooming and on because Joven scratched. So now Mike Meisey has ball in hand on the two with a 3-9 that he's already lining up for. See, I like, uh, I like Mike's route. <laughs> let's, let's just keep this short. <laughs> Joven yeah. really should have played that 1-9 uh, that combo. I mean, he really should have. But, you know, he ended up winning that, didn't he? So is this... Uh, this is not a Moscone Cup event, is it? No, no, it's not okay, uh, but there are Moscone other qualifier. Events that are. They but I had Reno. mentioned earlier that I think it should be because it's very, very well organized, very efficient. It yeah. should definitely be a sanctioned event. But uh, I don't know if there'd be any sanctioning fees, so you know that could change. And there's only 64 players in this event, so I don't know if it would uh, really qualify. And Mike just. <laughs> Made the three. Yeah, he missed the three nine carom and made the three and now has a bank on the four ball. And Scott makes a kick at the one. Oh, uh, he banked uh, banked short there. Joven will come jacked up over the eight to play this four. And he's got a tough path to the five. Meanwhile, Jason Klatt, he gets a chance now. And chance to do something yeah. to do anything yep needs to win five in a row uh -oh. and he might have hooked uh -oh. himself yeah that's bad maybe. i don't know why he didn't play for the side pocket maybe well it would have been an easy shot to go from the four to the five to the six if he did that but great shot by uh, joven and he could see it he did see it and made it yeah Oh, Cuts it all the nice way down shot. and hits it perfect. Joven made that five ball. And left himself a thin cut or a bank on the six with the seven in an awkward place. Thank you. 
So Jason wins that game to make it 5-2, but it's Scott's break, so he is at the mercy of the freezer right now. Yeah, and uh, if you're watching this screen, it may very well be the end of Mike Massey for this tournament. It looks that way. It looks that way. And there you have it, folks. What a showing by Mike Massey, Tennessee Tarzan who takes fourth place in the 25th Annual Andy Mercer Memorial Tournament. We are so happy to have seen him here at, Good to uh, see him again. at the Rum Runner in Las Vegas. I mean, what a pleasant surprise. When I saw his name on the uh, players list a month ago, I was, uh, I was ecstatic. And, you know, it was really, really nice to see him play. You know, he, he never stops. He never stops. He still plays. So shortly, uh, we're going to have, I, I booked Mike Brown to sit in for this match. And apparently, um, we're going to have Jimmy Mattia with the finals. But uh, if he doesn't show, which I, I don't know if he's going to, will you sit in with me? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well, unless Joe Ben's not in. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I like so, the way she thinks. Anyway. <laughs> But uh, I am taking a break for this, this particular match after Scott Frost's match. And then I'll be back to do the finals. Frank says, I so. love Stacy, but where's Mattia? He's coming, Frank. He's coming. Yeah, yeah. He's we can't coming, help Frank. that he's not here yet. <laughs> yeah, because this guy needs a break. You act like this is hard work or something, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Puts a, put a lot of effort into this. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much. It's, uh, you know, it's the hard part is not setting it up and getting the right shot. And it's, it's really, it's the chair time you put in. Sitting in a chair and having to pay attention to everything as well is very, very demanding. And it looks like he's trying to one rail this, and he does. He tries to reverse English. Yeah, that's no good. And gives up ball in hand. I uh, whoa, hold on a second. Thanks, Dennis. It's it's uh, the main challenge when commentating with Mattia is commentating because he tends to be a, a, a one man show. So you just try to try to get in something here and there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to prep him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of prepping with Jimmy today. Well, you know what he'll say. Oh, well, I, if I have to act like that, I'm not going to do it. Yep. You do a good impression. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does anyone have a light? Yes, I do. Hi, Rob. Hi. I see she's up here. And you like to talk to this? Oh, what's up? You wanted to talk about that again? Or yeah, I'm like, is there I'm a, like, is there a um, new update? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got lots of sale yeah. of our donations. Mm -hmm. We got like. Have you been talking about the girls at Ben at all? Yeah. Yeah, I did a lot yesterday, actually. Is it over? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that'll 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 do it. Scott Frost, who wins the uh, hot seat match. And, uh, and we'll. we'll be uh, as predicted, we'll end up in the finals, as predicted by myself. Yeah, yeah. It'll so be uh, Joven and Jason. It'll be Joven and next. Jason. So stay tuned for the final match coming right up. Um, not the final match. The, 
semifinal match coming right up on POV Pool. We're going to have commentary with uh, Mike Brown and Stacey Alsup. So please give us a couple minutes. Thanks for watching POV Pool. And we'll be right back. Just fine. I see a sailor.